So a lot of you guys are still struggling with the basics. You feel like there's way too much information in day trading. There's moving averages, there's MACD, there's RSI, TQP, NSA, XQY, so many acronyms, it's information overload. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick and simple strategy that's going to work on the 15 minute and the one hour time frame. So you have longer trades, more time to breathe, more time to analyze, and not rushing to get into a trade on a one minute time frame. Let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is jump onto the one hour time frame on your charts. You're also going to want to change your chart candle colors to something more neutral. I use yellow for bullish candles and white for bearish candles. It's neutral. Your brain does weird psychological things when you see red and green, fear, anxiety. You just don't want it. Now, the number one rule that I want you to keep in mind is that when price is trading in a range like this for a long period of time, this is December 20th last year. This is today. We know that things like this, okay? What I want you to look for is nice trending market. You want to see nice movements up and down. Markets go up and down. That's what the market should do. When markets are flat, it's boring and dangerous. You want to see price moving up, down, up, down. So what I want you to focus on is primarily the 15 minute. The one hour is more for swing trading. I like 15 minute. It's nice and slow. It'll give you time to breathe and think. How do you know when an uptrend is going to stop? Two things. The RSI is going to be overbought, overextended for a long period of time, and you are looking for divergences that are within the 70-30 range. So I bet we can find an example right here. If we use our highlighter tool on these high points, I bet we could find a divergence in between at least two of these. So these are two separate lines between this point and this point, and we look at the RSI, we create created a higher high and on the RSI we have a higher high. Then the next one, we created another higher high while the RSI made a lower high, showing us a very important thing. A lower high in an uptrend is what we call a loss of momentum. Always keep in mind that the RSI is a momentum indicator. Higher highs and higher lows on the RSI is going to show you that the momentum is up. Once we start making lower highs on the RSI, it is an early indicator that the trend is losing momentum and may go to the downside. So once this happened and we failed to make a higher high right here, you can see we are now trading within the 70-30 range of the RSI right here. At this point, I am looking for short positions. The one thing that can help you a lot is switching to Heiken Ashi candles. So what you're looking for at this point with a Heiken Ashi candle is a candle that is bearish with no wick on top and and that is your entry point. This right here is the first candle that rejected from here had a no wick candle. So what your position size looks like is an entry here with a stop loss above here. And all you're going to do is a one to two risk to reward ratio. That's all you will ever need. If you do that consistently, you will make money. You can also hold these trades until you see your first bullish candle or the first candle that changes color. So if you did that, the candle closed right here, you're looking at a 1 to 2.4. So it's a very simple recipe. You're looking for a divergence, a failure to make a higher high or a lower low, and your first Heiken Ashi candle with no wick. Backtest it. Let me know what your results are in the comment section down below.